you're watching this video, you probably have the same problem I have uh, with these type of storm or screen doors. These uh, have special hinges and uh, I show you to close up. These hinges are attached to some, um, let's say dowels or bolts in this size. Half of it goes here, half of it goes up there, and it's not all the way. And um, there's some screws holding these uh, bolts to the hinge. And the hinge is already 90 degree, and I'll show you. Okay, the hinge looks like something like this. It's solid, 90 degree. It's not like a normal hinge that uh, moves. Um, so it only hinges around this axis, which is on this uh, bolt on the frame and it rotates like this so stays there and it turns this way and, and I'll show you in the door as well uh, open this door you can see how it's done so half of that one side of that 90 degree comes to the inside of this door and the other side is on the outside of it and this is the frame so it's hanging here on this and it hinges on that uh, on this these two bolts one here one here and the bolt is like this the, the bolt or dowel or whatever you want to call it is something like this there is one end of it there's a middle part which is circle to just separate um the frame from the hinge and one side that goes inside the hinge is hexagon shape it's not exactly round but the part that goes inside the frame is round and it's got all these these two holes that is held by these two screws one screw here and one screw here from the hinge on the on the hinge side and show you this, the screws here and here you've got these type of door frames or storm doors or screen doors whatever you want to call it uh, your options of repairing or replacing them are very limited you you're <laughs> you, you're left with either taking it all completely out and replacing it with a new one which is rather expensive and uh, i love this design and i don't want to part with it especially with these leaves and all that it's, it's nice and they don't make such things they don't make these frames anymore the manufacturers have stopped doing them so to fix them uh, i've searched on the internet and youtube and there's no video to suggest any sort of uh, ideas or methods to repair this but well, I've come up with an idea and I'm sure you'll like this and it's cheap and it'll save your door and it'll save you hundreds from buying a door that you might not even like what I've done first of all I've measured the size of this um, the hole of this hinge that you know hinges around here and it's about six millimeters now what that is in inches i don't know but it, to be exact it's actually six millimeters and i've got aluminium rods ordered mm, that size now these hinges if they haven't broken already like like this one like like this one it's already broken, snapped, and that's the problem usually you, you face with these kind of doors. The hinge bolt snaps them and st stays here, half here, half there, half here, half there. And you have to take them out. And to take those out, you have to actually take the door frame out, the door out, and get each one of these hinges off 
you have to unscrew these from the door so the door is completely separate so you're left with the with one side of the frame and these hinges that are still attached to the frame then what i did uh, some of them are off like that one it's just going to be completely off once you unscrew this it's off the the frame and that one but these are still attached so you have to get those completely unattached first of all you unscrew them from the door you separate the door from the frame and the hinges and then you to separate the hinges from the frame you have to actually use uh, i've got a table uh, saw and use that table saw with fine saw uh, blade and just cut through that uh, you basically cut the bolt cut the bolt from right as close as possible to that circle to the border you cut it and then that comes off and once it comes off you have a hinge and that's off the frame but you have this uh, bolt inside of it and that is half broken or half cut then what you have to do you have to put this in a vise uh, and use screwdrivers and hammer to get the the rest of the bolt or the dowel out of that um, groove so you have to put a screwdriver in the in middle here and use a hammer to keep hammering to get it all completely out once you get one of them out then you can use a long uh, I, I used an allen key a long allen key just went there nicely and hammered the other end of it and hammered the other bolt out easily so the first one is a little bit difficult you probably do need a vise uh, you might even need somebody else to help you as well because you might need um, like I did I asked my wife to ply this open a little bit we don't want it completely open if I if you ply this open completely then um, you won't be able to put it back together uh, and if you do the hinge is going to be all wobbly so we will uh, have hinges like this open and what I've done I've ordered uh, four rods of each uh, about one meter length of or three feet uh, one meter length of aluminium rods uh, they weren't selling any longer than that so I couldn't find if you can find well good luck but uh, I think that's that's even better for me because the length of uh, this door frame is about two meters so if I could and, and we've got and we've got five five hinges and if I put one uh, bolt or rod from the bottom of the frame through the bolt through the hinges halfway through to here and then the other one halfway down here you might have a little extra and then you cut it so that's the idea so i've ordered these rods aluminium rods of six millimeter um, round shape six millimeter diameters uh, with the length of one meter each so two for each door. I've got two doors, same type, and I want to keep the, the same design for uh, my house all around it. So that's why I, you know, I'm trying to keep them. I don't want to change them. And uh, both of them are, two of them are broken. Uh, the, the hinges are like this. So I've managed to get the other door off the hinges and the frame. And uh, I'll show you the frame is all free now open there's no there's no bolt stuck in it i've got them all out with the help of a vice hammer and a screwdriver and i've ordered two rods for each door aluminium round rods that i ordered from lowe's arrived and i've got four of them like i said each one is about three feet or one meter and you can see it's uh, round shape and 
it goes and it goes through your uh, hinge just like that now uh, you probably have to hammer a little bit but uh, it's not as easy as that because it's tight fit it's a tight fit and it is going even with my one hand I can uh, show you it's going in but uh, it's tight fit and, and it has to be otherwise your door will wobble so we're going now to put it in the door and the hinges all right as you saw the rod is going easily through the holes of the frame and like I said I picked six millimeter diameters of this uh, rod and uh, you notice I was hammering through the hole of the, the hinge because uh, the reason is the hinge as I said is indented with that hexagon shaped dowel so because of that it's not exactly six millimeters and it's, it's Holding it like it's, it's, it's a little bit tough to go in there, and we don't want that. We want it to be nice and smoothly, smoothly going in there because you don't want going the rod going halfway through and then getting stuck there. We'll have the same issue as we had before. So what we're doing, I put this in a vise tight, and slowly, just uh, you don't pick a bigger drill bit, just the right size, the same size as the uh, rod maybe a little bit more but the same size is okay and I go through slowly as you go through and uh, you put the longest part of the drill out uh, so it goes all the way and then you drill from the other side as well but uh, you move it a little bit sh gently move it up and down and around to get all the bears out And you can see the hexagon shape. That's going to turn into a round shape. Now we test that. Easily going in and out, and that's what we want. We do this with all the hinges, and then Bob's your uncle. You can put the hinges back and screw it to the door. Now you've got the hinge in the wise the frame, and make sure the hinge is the right right way up. You don't do it the wrong way. Make sure which way your door opens. And then put the rod in. That's how it should be. Not. Not by force. The next one. We're going to the end of this one. And I'm not going to push it all the way because I need to make sure this end also. from this angle
All right, this uh, hinge, I hadn't drilled enough, so it caused a little bit of a trouble to push through. I had to hammer, and I didn't like to, to do that, but I, I had to. It was, it was already, sorry, not this one, this one. It was already halfway through. It wasn't coming out, it wasn't going in. Uh, so, we hammered it through. It's gone all the way to half of the third hinge, and I hammered the other side. Uh, because you have a length here and a length there that is just useless so I pushed I put a uh, bar I, I use the uh, an allen key you can use anything else as long as you can and then hammer the end of that so you can push the rod back in so half of the uh, hinge in the middle here the, the third one is half the other rod and half of it is the other rod so it's just like that if you can see from there this rod has come through to here and this one has come through to this to this far so it's okay if if we had longer rod it would be better a straight two meter long rod but i couldn't find them on the internet so the best i could find was one meter long or three feet and that's what it is. You have to do it this way. If you had long enough, it would be just a straight line. And if I had drilled it better, then it would be easier going in. And this is done now. Now we can just put it on the door.